In this video, I will show you how to create a paywall for your content on a WordPress website and accept payment from your visitors in Bitcoin. We're going to do this from scratch, without spending any money on anything. We'll start with nothing but the Debian operating system, which is free. We'll serve a WordPress website on the Onion network, without paying for hosting, and then we'll put up a paywall around some content so that we can receive payments. In a future video, I may show you how to do something similar if you're running your WordPress website on a regular website that you pay money for, but in this video, I want to show you how you can do this without spending any money. So I'll host my WordPress website on my own computer and make it available over Tor. By the way, you can find all the commands you need to follow along with me in this video's description. Okay, let's start by updating our operating system and its applications. apt update and apt upgrade and apt auto remove. Next, we'll install some software that Electrum needs in order to get going. The majority of these are tools for using Python version 3. We'll install Python 3 itself, as well as a popular package installer for Python known as pip, some tools for setting up Python applications, and pyqt, which is a Python package that makes it easy to set up and use graphical applications that are written in Python. We'll also need libsec, which is a secure software library used by a lot of cryptography programs, including programs that use Bitcoin. Now let's install Electrum. Electrum is a popular Bitcoin wallet that has two modes, a graphical mode with easy buttons for sending and receiving payments, and a background mode which lets you manage your wallet using almost any programming language. Electrum's background mode will be important later when we install a WordPress plugin that uses PHP to manage Electrum. Use the webget command to download the latest version of Electrum. In this tutorial, I'm downloading version 4, because it's the newest version of Electrum available right now. If you're watching this tutorial in the future, and there are newer versions of Electrum available, you should go to the Electrum website, grab the download link for whatever the latest version is, and use that instead of version 4.0. The next set of commands unzips the Electrum directory, removes the tar file that Electrum came in, because it's no longer needed, goes into our new Electrum directory, and installs it, and moves the Electrum program to our application directory. Okay, now that we've got Electrum installed, let's fire it up and configure it. The Electrum daemon command starts Electrum in background mode. We'll take a look at the graphical interface later, but for now we'll be configuring things in background mode. The setconfig command tells Electrum's background mode to listen for commands on port 7777 of your computer. That way we can manage it through a WordPress plugin that we'll install later. You should see a list of 12 backup words. Save those words in a safe place. You can use them to restore your Electrum wallet and its funds if your system ever crashes in the future. Next, we need to initialize the Lightning Network so that we can receive Bitcoin payments using the Lightning Payment Protocol. Now that Electrum is configured, let's restart it, still in background mode, and load the wallet we created. Now let's add some funds. We need to add some initial funds so that we can receive Lightning payments. It sounds counterintuitive at first, and perhaps I'll explain the Lightning Network in more detail in a future video, but in order to receive money on the Lightning Network, you need to open something called a Lightning Channel, put some funds in it, and then send that money to yourself or spend it in some other way, but if you're just setting up a channel to receive payments, it's probably best to send your money to yourself. After you've done all of that, you can then receive money. I know, it sounds kind of weird at first, but on the bright side, once you've got Lightning running, you can receive real Bitcoins with instant settlement, and that's super cool. Okay, so in order to add funds, use the get unused address command to pull up a Bitcoin address that you can send some money to. Send some Satoshis to that address. In this example, I'll use a mobile wallet to add funds to Electrum, and my mobile wallet needs a QR code, so I'll copy-paste my Electrum Bitcoin address to a QR code generator at theqrcodegenerator.com. I'll fund Electrum with about $65, which, as I make this video, is about 669,000 sats. After your money shows up as unconfirmed, use it to open a Lightning Channel with one of your peers. You will need their node ID and IP address. You can look those values up with the command Electrum List Peers. Pick one of your peers and use his node ID and IP address to open a channel with him. In the example below, I open a channel using 523,042 sets. Our channel needs to be confirmed on the blockchain three times before we can use it. That should take about 30 minutes. While we wait, let's set up a WordPress website and make it available through the Tor network. I've already gone over how to do this in another video, so I'm not going to repeat everything about how to do this, instead I'll just copy-paste the commands for setting it up. First install some dependencies and other apps. Start configuring Nginx. Check your PHP version. 
Finish configuring Nginx, replacing PHP 7.3 FPM, if necessary, with a version based on the version you looked up with Where Is. Also note that at this point I'm going to install the PHP curl extension. This extension is not part of my previous tutorial about WordPress and Tor because it's not necessary for setting up a Tor website, but it's part of this tutorial because we need the PHP curl extension to let WordPress communicate with Electrum using curl software. I had to wait till this point to install it because which version to install depends on the version of PHP we have, and I had to look that up when we got to this part. Anyway, enable and start Nginx. Install Tor. Configure Tor, enable it, and start it. Install MariaDB server and client. Run Maria database. Create a WordPress database. Create a user called admin and give him a password, but don't use 12345 like I am. Grant the admin user all privileges over the database. Restart that part of MariaDB. And exit. Download, install, and configure WordPress. Reload Nginx. Check your onion address. Now let's visit it in a Tor compatible browser and configure it on the front end. Set your username to admin and your password to whatever password you set up when we configured Maria database. Give your site a name, a user named admin, a password, don't use 12345 like I am, and an email. I'll also tell it not to let Google index it, but you can allow that if you want a more public site. Now that we have a public website, let's set up a Bitcoin paywall. The following string of echo commands writes a paywall plugin and adds it to your WordPress plugins directory. I know it looks like just a long wall of text, but in a minute we'll dive in and I'll show you what each part does. We'll also create a script for checking invoices. Okay, let's check what these functions do. We'll use a text editor called nano to view the paywall file we created. The first part specifies the plugin's metadata, such as its name and author. WordPress will use this to show you information about this plugin on the plugins page of your backend. Down here we set the global variables which the plugin will use to communicate with Electrum. The username and password are generated by your own Electrum wallet, and my script just grabs the password from your Electrum configuration settings. Down here is the beginning of the paywall function. When you use the plugin on a WordPress page, the first thing it does is check if the user has supplied an invoice generated by you, which he claims he has paid. That's what get invoice means. If the user does supply an invoice, it checks whether or not it is paid, and if it is, it shows them whatever content you specify. We'll get to the part where you specify what content you want to show a little later. If the user does not supply an invoice which he claims he has paid, the plugin checks something called a price attribute, which I'll show you how to set later. The price attribute says how much money you want to sell your content for, priced in US dollars. The shortcode takes that price and converts it to bitcoins, then down here it connects to Electrum and generates an invoice for that amount. This part down here displays the invoice as well as an expiration time and a button which the user can use to open his wallet. Down here it outputs a script to the user that basically tells his browser to remember his invoice and check back about once every second to see if it's been paid or not. Meanwhile, down here, whenever the user's browser says, hey, is this invoice paid yet? Your computer goes and gets a list of all your invoices, looks for one that matches the one supplied by the user, and sends it back to the top of the script, where the shortcode checks if the invoice has been paid or not. And if it is, it displays the content to the user. Okay, now that we see how the plugin works, let's activate it. Open up your Onion-compatible browser and go to your website. On the back end, click Plugins. Under BTC Paywall, click Activate. Now let's go put up a paywall on one of our pages. Select Pages here in the sidebar. You can create a new page if you want, but I'll just use the sample page created by WordPress. Right-click View Page and open it in a new tab. Also, click the name of the page with a left-click. Okay, you see these paragraphs right here? This is what we're going to paywall. Let's see how it looks on the front end first. Switch to your other tab. Okay, you see how we went to this page and the content loaded right up? We're about to replace that with a paywall, and then this stuff will only show up once the user has paid the invoice. Go back to your previous tab and click the first paragraph. Click the three dots and select Add Before. Now click the little plus button. Search for shortcode and click it. Now write bracket paywall price equals quote and enter some number of dollars. In this case, I'll type in one hundredth of a dollar, which is a penny. Now end the quote and end the bracket. Now go to the bottom paragraph, click it, 
Click the three dots, click Add After, click the plus button, search for short code, and click it. Now write bracket, slash paywall, which means end the paywall, and end the bracket. That's it. Update your page, and go check it again. You should see an invoice pop up, a notice about when this will expire, and a button that the user can click to open up their wallet. Now, I wish I could tell you that anyone could pay this invoice right now, and you'd receive some money, but that's only almost true. We're not actually done yet. Your node can create invoices right now, and display them, but the channel we created earlier is imbalanced. We just created it, and put a bunch of money in it, so it's full. And when a lightning channel is full of money, it can't receive any more money till it's emptied. So we need to go back and empty it out, so that people can pay us. We can use a layer swap to do this, so that we keep the majority of the money, minus a swap fee. A layer swap is a type of coin swap. Coin swaps are a neat trick you can do with Bitcoin's Lightning Network. It leverages Bitcoin's built-in programming language, Bitcoin Script, to send money on one layer and receive it back on another layer without ever giving anyone custody of your money. See my video Intro to Coin Swaps for more information about that. Electrum's implementation of coin swap uses a third party to swap the coins, but it's not possible for them to steal your funds because of the magic of Bitcoin Script. The third party in Electrum's implementation of CoinSwap is called Bolts Exchange, and they do charge a fee for their service. In my tests, the fee has usually been between $1 and $2. I recommend doing the CoinSwap with Electrum's graphical user interface. I want to just put a little emphasis here to clarify exactly what you need to do anytime you want to switch from background mode to graphical mode. Here are the commands. Electrum stop, root Electrum 4.0, and then the point number of your release, slash run Electrum. If you don't want to open Electrum using a terminal command, you can also open it by opening a file explorer, going to the Electrum folder, right-clicking electrum.desktop, selecting Properties, and then Permissions, clicking Allow this file to run as a program, closing the Properties window, and then double-clicking the new Electrum icon. From then on, you can just double-click that icon to open Electrum, if you prefer that. A lot of people are more comfortable using graphical mode to manage their money. The advantage of running Electrum in background mode most of the time is that it lets programs like a WordPress plugin control some parts of your wallet. To shift from background mode to graphical mode, all you need to do is stop the daemon with Electrum stop, and start the graphical mode with root Electrum 4.0 your point number slash run Electrum, or by double clicking its icon. Once you've got graphical mode open, you can send money using the send tab, and receive money using the receive tab. Remember, Electrum is a non-custodial Bitcoin wallet. The coins are all here on your device, you've got full control over them. Anyway, let's get back to the swap tutorial, where I recommend using graphical mode. In graphical mode, I recommend going into Tools and then Preferences to change your base unit from millibitcoins to sats, though that's optional. Go to View and select Show Channels. This will create a Channels tab right next to the Receive tab in Electrum. Go to the Channels tab. Your channel may not be open yet if you are still waiting for your channel to confirm. You can determine whether or not it is ready by checking the status column. It should say open. If it says opening, wait for your channel opening transaction to be confirmed three times. You can view how many confirmations a transaction has using the history tab. There is a small pie chart icon next to each transaction. Each confirmation changes the color of part of the pie chart. When it is half filled in, that means your transaction has three confirmations. When your channel is open, go to the Channels tab. Select Swap. Swap half of your coins from the Lightning Network to the base layer. In this example, I'll swap 261,521 sats. If the swap fails, try a lower amount. Once you've swapped some sats, close Electrum and run background mode again. Electrum Daemon D. Electrum Load Wallet. We can receive payments now up to the amount of sats we swapped out. If you want to increase the amount of money you can receive, you should occasionally use the swap function again to transfer funds from the Lightning Network to the base layer. For more information about how that works, check out my previous video, Intro to Coin Swaps. I also recommend opening more than one channel so that there are multiple routes to your node, but that's also optional. It makes your node more accessible, but we can actually receive payments right now. Okay, that's how to set up Electrum on a Tor website and put a paywall around your content so that you can begin earning bitcoins for your articles, videos, and podcasts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned, because I hope to make more videos soon.